All right, cool. All right, y'all. Welcome in. It's Monday. It's a little bit snowy outside. Even though the days are running together, still feels a little bit like a Monday. So let's get it in. Let's shake that off. Welcome into Monday Meta Circuit. We got a fun one for you today. If you saw the little preview video on the Instagram, you see that we have some unconventional stuff, some stuff we haven't done in class before. So all I ask is for effort and attention when I'm <clears throat> Uh, running through those demos and we'll get rolling today in studio I have uh, catch me if you can Catherine Morgan and I have sleepy sleepy e wall on the ground here he's already uh, 30 minutes into his nap so we're gonna get him moving here shortly um, <clears throat> today's playlist is this is zoo it is not a made playlist by me it's just a Spotify curated this is zoo playlist that we were running this morning decided to roll with it so we'll cue that up in three in two and we roll with my life, zoo, starting it out, and we will start down on our backs right where Eric is. Catch me if you can, making our way down. We we'll take those feet on the floor, a little bit wider than hip width, and we'll just start driving knees side to side here. Easy little windshield wipers, 90-90s across. There will be some coin flipping in today's workout. Lucky, lucky for you, you don't have to supply the coin. I've got it, okay? Compliments of Eric Waller. It's a 2004 state quarter. It's Florida is the state, in case you were curious, all right? Yeah, so strange things may happen. Everyone knows that Florida is a bit sketchy. Um, from there, we'll bring those feet back to center. We'll stack feet underneath our knees here, and we'll take some bridges. Eight to ten as we drive those hips high into our bridges here. Once we're through our bridges, we'll roll over to our right side, kind of in that fetal position. We'll stack hands over each other, pulling those shoulders back. We'll open that chest up and then roll it all back together, trying to keep those knees or that bottom knee to the floor as we roll open, just find as much range as you can, keeping the knee, the hip, and the foot on the floor here. Take five or six on that right side, then we'll roll it over, take five or six over the other direction. Once you're through that second side, Roll over onto our stomachs. On our stomachs. We'll take hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna put our footprints on the ceiling here, 90 degrees through our knees. And we're gonna take some windshield wipers in a different position here. Just easy side to side. You can see Catherine is taking those feet side to side into some Windshield wipers here. Once we have four or five each way there, we'll straighten those legs out. We'll press up through an up dog or king cobra, finding some space in those low abs and our hip flexors. Maybe if you want to cycle through that a couple times, coming down, disengaging, and pressing back up, go for it. Once we're through there, we'll come up to hands and knees. We'll take a few cat cows. Take that movement up and down. If you want to take the hips side to side a little bit, feel free to do that. Rick's, Rick's over here losing his mind. He's looking for his commemorative quarter, 2006. It's a New Hampshire edition. He can't find it anywhere. Good. Once we're through some few cat cows, let's widen those knees out. Let's sit those hips back into a child's pose. Walk those hands out to the right or the left if you feel like it. Finding some length in our side bodies. <laughs> you fix your hair in there, nice. 
There's no fixing anyone's hair these days. It just is what it is. Good, and then carrying that over to the other side. You can see Catherine kind of posturing forward from that position. Just another way to open those hip flexors up a little bit. And then from there, let's come back down to our stomachs. Let's get stuck in the mud. <clears throat> Eric's DJing. <laughs> Eric's doing his best zoo impression. He's not Asian and he doesn't have a cool hat. So, so far it's not going so well. Good, just a couple other over each way here. <laughs> Apparently he does have a cool hat. It just hasn't made its appearance in the studio yet. Once you're through there, let's press up through a high plank and then back to a down dog. We'll find some length in our hamstrings and calves here. A little more focus on the calves as we get into this movement. Um, as today is a Monday Meta Circuit, a movement Monday, there will be some plyometrics, some jumping, that kind of stuff. So um, trying to spend special attention to those ankles and calves here. And then from there, we'll come down to a single knee. Come down to a half kneeling position. Either leg can start forward. Let's drop down into the quad, in the groin. Take four or five little postures forward, and then we'll carry out. So 45, we'll do the same thing out at that diagonal angle. And then we'll do the same thing out wide, carrying that knee out wide to 90 degrees. And then we'll switch those legs out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Once you're through that second side, in that three point extension through that lunge, we'll come up to our feet. When you make your way up to your feet, we're gonna kick a single leg out in front, taking a hinge, reaching for those toes. And then we'll come up into a standing quad stretch on that same side, working hamstring extension in the lengthening out that quad. We'll take two or three on the single side and then switch it over. Or if you wanna alternate, that's fine as well. All you'll need for your workout today is your band, your positive attitude, and your zoo playlist. That's all you need today. Once we're through two or three each way there, Let's take some field goals out wide. We're gonna retract those shoulders back. Elbows out wide, we'll take a reach and a rotation. Getting through a few just like that. <clears throat> this first round will move a little bit slower as I demo through. Second and third round, we'll really crank it up. So just be prepared for that as we go. Once you're through those reach and rotations, we can take those arms out wide. We're alternating rotations through our shoulders, focusing on that internal rotation, dropping that shoulder in, McDivitt. And then we'll reach those hands out in front, dropping chest, we'll take a reach out wide. Eric's uh, practicing for drill team now. We got all kinds of fun things happening in studio today. Good, and then we'll just take a nice passive trunk rotation, easy twist. Once we have a few each way there, we'll start dropping into some body weight squats. Just standard width here. Slowing it down for just a second. We'll take four or five into our squats. Once we're through some squats there, we're gonna work an active step to a lateral lunge across. So just dropping out, nice deep lateral lunge, switching that inside foot out, working out toward the other side. Back and forth, today is a 
metacircuit day, so a little bit more movement on these lunges than maybe we normally take. One step across and we drop into that lunge. Once we have four or five each way there, we'll take hands across the chest. I'm gonna hinge forward and then pull those hips through. Keeping a slight bend in those knees here. Soft knees as we take that hinge. Keeping those shoulders pulled back, nice flat back. Once we have four or five each way there, let's take those arms out wide, big star pose, and we'll take some windmills reaching across. Back and forth. Maybe three or four each way there. <clears throat> and then bring those feet back together. Let's take big external rotation on the right leg and then bringing it back to center. External on the left and back to center. We'll take two or three on each leg there. Easing into picking that pace up. Once you're through those hip openers and closers, let's take a step, reach in a kick, reaching out toward opposite toes, trying to keep that leg nice and straight as we reach. Three or four each way there, and then let's roll those wrists out a little bit. A couple shoulder rolls, Eric working through a little bit. Some hip rotations here, just kind of loosening everything up, whatever feels right. And then we'll start bouncing off those toes and we'll get into some jumping jacks. Let's get those hands up overhead. 10 big jacks overhead. Once we're through those jacks, let's take some A skips. Five or six each way on our A skips. We got a skip jack tuna in the house. <laughs> Five or six on those A skips. And then let's take some butt kickers. I know my quads are still feeling fairly tight, so trying to find some length, some active, active length in those quads as we kick those heels through. And then let's take some nice easy lateral skaters. You can either go nice and slow into that stability or you can pick that pace up a little bit, be a little bit more active, driving off that outside foot, still staying low. Good, and then we'll work into three sprawls. Three sprawls to finish out the lead part of this warm up. And then I'm gonna give you a minute or two just to work through whatever else you need. Okay, we only had about 20 people on the call yesterday, which means a lot of you took a, a rest day, which is great. But I have no doubt that there's still a little bit of tension, feeling a little bit of uh, tightness and soreness through your body. So take a minute or two, just taking whatever else you need, making sure you have your band handy, a towel, water, whatever else you need. As we get going here, go ahead and getting ready to get rolling here. What we have today is a five movement uh, set, okay? So one movement's gonna be active for 40 seconds, okay? Some of them will be single-sided, 20 and 20, and I'll cue you as we, as we get there, okay? But we have a movement for 40 seconds, immediately followed by a coin flip that'll result in a heads or tails, two different movements, and that'll be 30 seconds. As soon as I call that, we jump right into that movement, okay? So just so you know, that's how we're gonna roll today. Um, the first movement we have in the first round is gonna be a banded drop squat. So taking that band, your band's probably well broken in by now. Okay, we'll take that band down around the ankles. I'm gonna drop it in. Quick up, back up at the top, nice long legs and right back in. Trap door, I'm not jumping up to come down. I'm just dropping those legs out, down. Quick at the top, right back in. We go banded drop squats, okay? And then our first round all the way through our coin flips are gonna be heads, split lunge, dropping in, little hop at the top, alternating, split lunge. And our tails is gonna be from our back, bicycles up to the top, big twist across, elbow over to opposite knee, okay? So that's what you've got ahead of you. Let's go ahead and make sure we have our space sorted out. Make sure you have your band in hand. 40 seconds of work to start. We begin in three, in two, and let's go. 
40 seconds on that banded drop squat. Nice and easy into this first round here. Just an extension of our warm up. If you're starting to feel nice and loose, feel free to quick, quicken that pace up a little bit. Let's work on keeping tension through that band the whole time in. You're halfway into that round, halfway in. Keep working, I know those hips are firing up. Welcome to Monday. 10 seconds left here. Finishing out in five, in three, and time. I flipped that coin. Oh no. We got a tails, tails, all right. Right down to our back, we're into our bicycles. Clock is on, 30 seconds of work here. Once you're done with 30 seconds, make your way back up to your feet. Good work, y'all. Halfway in, you've got 15 seconds left. Good work, good work. Couple more reps, let's make sure we end out even. Last five, last three, and time. All right, great job. All right, eyes up for this second movement. Next one in, we're gonna work an opposite corner, bound into a single leg uh, touch to that floor. So I work off that right foot to start. I'm gonna jump from the low right side to the high left, and then from there off that single leg, tapping, and then right back at that diagonal, hopping out, Tapping forward and back, okay? We're gonna go 20 seconds, you guys excited about this one? All right, we're going 20 seconds right to left, and then when I call time on that first 20, we'll switch to that second side, and let's begin, let's get it. Starting out nice and slow, we work on getting that balance orientation first, okay? Finding that balance, and then we'll pick that pace up for those last few reps, but the stability, the single leg is the most important part, we switch legs in three, in two, and time. Good, stepping over on that opposite foot. Stepping to that opposite side of our X to the top. Still tapping down, working to stay on that single leg the whole time through. You've got five seconds. You've got three, two, and time. We flip that coin, and we've got just a Make sure it's above board. We've, we've got a heads. He's lying to you. It's a heads. It's a heads. Come on, man. All right, it's heads. We're into split lunges and begin. Can't trust anyone these days. <laughs> Try to sabotage my flip. All right, finding some depth here. If we can get that knee to the floor every time, that's great. If you need to step into this lunge, take an alternating step back, that's perfectly fine as well, especially on these first couple rounds. Be kind to your body. You've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left, finish it out. You got it. Last three, last two, and that's time. Beautiful, all right, good job. Two down, we got three left. Number three, it's a real treat, all right? Kind of reminds me of something you may have seen in a Teletubbies episode as a young person. Just an upgraded version with this tuck jump, okay? So what we're gonna do is from a standing position, I'm gonna raise that right arm up, knee to elbow, opposite. And then we drop in, tuck, jump up, right back in. Crunch, crunch, tuck, jump up, all right? 40 seconds on, two oblique crunches from that standing position, and then we take that tuck, jump, pull those knees up tight into our chest, in three, in two, and let's go. Good work. We get just as much core activation in the tuck jump as we do in those side oblique tucks, okay? So think about knees tied up into our chest, and then we bring those feet down nice and soft. You're more than halfway through. Great job. Go nice and slow to begin here. Get that rhythm down, and then you can crank that up. You've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. See if you can get two more in. Last five, last rep, two crunches. One tuck, and that's time. We go back into that flip. I definitely am not asking Eric any longer. And we're back to heads again. All right, third round is at heads. We go in three, in two, and we begin right back into those split lunges. Let's finish it up. 30 seconds of work, 
Eric's gone into a step lunge, that's perfect. I don't mind if you're into a step lunge. As long as you're in motion, that's all I care about. Find the movement that's working for you on this Monday. You're halfway through. 15 seconds left. We've got two movements left in the round. Two movements remaining. We finish in three, in two, and time. That's beautiful. All right, y'all. Number four in our round is going to be a curtsy lunge into a front kick. Another movement here where we're going to go 20 seconds on that right side and then 20 seconds on the left. All right, so standing strong onto that left foot. I'm going to drop that right knee down, back into a curtsy, and then as I come up without replacing that foot, front kick, and then right back in. Okay? Once 20 seconds is up, we switch those feet. Same thing on the other side. 40 and 40, stepping back into that frame. I'm sorry, 20 and 20, 40 total, and we begin. Let's go. Good. Sweep that leg behind, tapping that knee down. Sweep the leg, Johnny. That's not quite what I meant, but I, I appreciate the reference. For all of you who don't know what he was talking about, that's a movie from, called Karate Kid from a time that most of you probably weren't alive, all right? And we switch. Second side, right in. Good work. Another movement where we work on that single leg balance all the way through. That elevated leg should only touch down into that curtsy lunge position. In three, two, and time. Everyone say a collective prayer for a tails. And it is tails. All right. Thanks, Florida. Into our tails. We're back down into bicycles for that fourth round. This takes us to two and two. And let's begin. Good. If you can keep those heels up off the floor, great. Let's work for that rotation. Knee to elbow every time. Working across. If you want to work more extension, more length in that movement and go a little bit slower, that's great. If you want to keep that pace high, that's also great. Whatever it is for you is works. We just make sure that we're in movement the whole time. We finish in three, in two, and time. All right, great job, y'all. All right, last movement coming at you. We have a lateral three-step deck squat, okay? For me, deck squat requires my weight. You can use a household item. I'm gonna use a 26-pound kettlebell. If you can do these deck squats without weight, that's great. I need it, so I'm gonna use it in this set. I'm gonna sit down nice and low. I'm gonna take three lateral steps down in that squat position. I'm rolling it back, forward and up, and then I take three steps back the other way. I think my quarter just got stolen. Eric's trying to prevent me from flipping any longer, okay? So three lateral steps in that squat position, then we drop into that deck squat. If that deck squat's not gonna work for you, Three steps out, knee, knee, stand, stand, three steps back the other way. All right, here we go. In three, in two, and let's begin. Let's see what my crew's doing here. All right. Stay low as we get into that position. If you can drop into that deck squat, take it. If it's not working for you today, all good. Just go two knees to the floor, back up to that standing position. We're halfway through, y'all. Halfway through. Let's see if we can get down and back at least one more time. You've got 10 seconds left in the round. Finishing it out. Stay low as you move into that lateral movement. Three steps across. We finish in three, in two, and time. We flip the coin for our final time, and it is heads. Verification on the heads. Split lunges to finish the round. We go in three, in two, and let's begin. Great job, y'all, splitting them out. 30 seconds of effort here. So fun, Catherine's having a time of her life. Best Monday in weeks. Good work, you've got under 10 seconds. See if you can get three or four more. Find that depth every time. Don't sacrifice that knee to the floor. That's the last time you get this movement today. And time. Beautiful. If you're working out with somebody in-house, give them a high five or a foot five. If you're just by yourself, walk up to the screen. Give somebody in the screen some love. 
Great job, y'all are working hard. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Kobe. Good work. All right, y'all. We'll get a bit, just about a minute of rest here. We come back. Our 40 second movements stay the same. Okay, so when you come back, we'll be starting back into that banded drop squat. Our coin flip movements now are going to be Hez burpees. Okay, when we talk about a burpee as it relates to this workout, what I want to see is hands down, sprawl, coming up, little hop. If you want to get hands overhead, great. If you want to take that press to the floor, that's great too. But the minimum is going to be out, in, and a little hop up off the floor, okay? And then our second movement, our tails movement, is going to be from the floor, flutter kicks. If you need a little bit less there, we can make that movement a little bit bigger. Or we can take those feet a little higher. But ideally, we're nice and low with those feet. Nice low kicks as we go through, all right? All right, moving back to number one. If you can't move to this jam, I don't know what to tell you. Here we go in three, in two, and we begin back into those banded drop squats for a second round here. Widening that base out as we drop in. Good work, keeping tension on that band the whole time through. Finding some depth. When we come to the top, you can see here in studio, Eric and Catherine are both coming to full extension in those hips, nice and tall at the top, and then quick down to the bottom. Okay, consistent landing spot with those feet all the way through. You've got 10 seconds left. You only get each of these movements three times, okay? So let's ring out whatever we can take from them. Good, last three, last two, and time. Drop that band, couple breaths. We flip our coin. And we are tails. Thanks, Florida. Down to your back. We go flutter kicks. We begin in three, in two, and let's go. 30 seconds on those flutter kicks. As you can see, two different options here in house. Eric's taking some big extended kicks, bringing that leg all the way up to 90 degrees. Catherine has those toes pointed, keeping those feet down nice and close to the floor. Either way, abs engaged, keeping those shoulders up off the floor as we go. Little pelvic tilt, posterior pelvic tilt, so we keep those abs activated all the way through. We finish in three, in two, and time, beautiful. All right, great job, y'all. Coming up to our feet, we'll take about 15, 20 seconds of rest. Still giving you a chance to recover, breathe and rest. We are now into those opposite corner single leg bounds. Okay, so coming across, landing, tap, and then back to that same spot. We take 20 seconds each way. Maybe we start the opposite direction this time. In three, two, and let's begin. 20 seconds on this first side, and then we go 20 the other way. Challenge yourself to find a consistent landing spot every time. Find some balance, we get both hands down to the floor and then we drop it back. A Little bit more of a single leg squat as we drop in rather than a hinge with that straight leg. We're gonna bend that knee, come to the floor and we switch right into that second side, stepping across and then taking that hop out the opposite way. Shout out to they, Drew Love of Denver, Colorado. I'm sure he'll be watching this later today. And time, that's beautiful. All right, here we go. Flipping that coin, breathe, rest. Thanks, Florida, we've got tails again. All right, flutter kicks for a second round. Be careful what you wish for. We might go flutter kicks five in a row. Finding that position down, take a couple deep breaths. We go in three, in two, and begin, let's get it. Eric is giving himself some type of spa treatment here on the floor. You can't see him, but he's covered his eyes with his uh, towel. And I think there's some cucumbers underneath there as well. I can't be, I can't be sure, but what, what's that? Oh, he, he actually ate the cucumbers before the workout. So it's just a towel. Good work, y'all. Last five seconds. Keep those heels and shoulders off the floor. Stay with me. And time. Beautiful, y'all. All right, coming back up. Short little break. We're back in to our Care Bear standing oblique crunch. 
one on the right, one on the left, and then we take that nice big tuck jump, tucking those knees in as tight as we can. Let's go in three, in two, and let's begin. Good. Two crunches, knee to elbow, and then we drive both knees tight into our chest. Here's the chance to get those neighbors nice and pissed off early in the morning. Maybe you got a mat to jump on to mitigate that issue. But let's try and find a consistent jump every time. Maybe those knees don't come up. Maybe you just find a little hop, and that's great. You've got 10 seconds left. Let's see if we can get two or three more. Now's the chance to pick that pace up. Like I said, we only get each of these movements three, four times today. My bad, my bad. In three, two, and time. Beautiful. We got four rounds. Okay, great. Perfect. All right. Back into our flip. And we're in details one more time. All right. Coming our way back down to the floor. Back into those flutter kicks. Third time through, third time in a row. And let's begin. Good, now in studio we have both of my participants with the big extended kick. So either short and low or big extended kick, but we keep those legs long, active quads. Think about strong quads, keeping those legs locked out as much as you can, shoulders staying up off the floor. We finish in three, in two, and time. Beautiful, all right, we're back into our coin flip. It fell on the floor. I'm gonna let Eric step in and tell me what we got. I'm losing my mind, all right. Curtsy lunge, front click. I just want him to do burpees. All right, curtsy lunge, front kick. We start on that single leg, same thing. Find that, that rotation around, drop that knee, and then snap that kick off. And let's begin. Think about COVID-19 being out in front of you and drive it away right in the face. Get that kick up high. Extend it out. Snap it off. The flu. And time. Good. Let's switch it out. Second side in. Good work. Let's see if we can match that same number of reps on our second side. You've got five, you've got three, and that's time. Now we'll take that flip, and it's tails again. Right back into those flutters for our fourth time through. Good work, couple extra breaths. Breathe deep, and we begin, let's go. 30 seconds on those flutter kicks. Maybe if you've consistently been big with that kick, we try and work into that low position, short little flutters as we kick them through. Good work. Maybe just trying something different, a lot of rounds in a row. So how do we switch that up, challenge ourselves, challenge our brain as we go through? We finish in three, in two, and time. Good work. We're back up into our lateral three-step deck squat. 40 seconds. Catherine has separated the space. Don't cross that line. Here we go. In three, in two, and let's begin. 40 seconds in this second round. If you need to modify into that knee, knee, foot, foot, feel free to do so, okay? Do what you need. Whatever you do, don't have too much fun. Still, still continue to, to work through that rep count. Good job. We're past halfway here, under 20. Let's see if we can match that second half of the movement with the first half. Same level of intensity, or maybe we crank it up. We take those foot steps across a little bit quicker. We get one more extra deck squat in. We finish in three, in two, and time, and we have one more coin flip. Will it be a clean sweep 
No. no, we have one round of burpees. Get your mind right. Here we go in five, in three, and let's begin. 30 seconds on those burpees. Only time you'll get them today. Good work, you're 10 seconds in. First 10 seconds, just working slowly into that movement and now we're cranking it up. You're past halfway. You've got 10 seconds left. Let's see if we can get three more within that time. Three more to finish it out. Finishing in three, in two, and time. Great job, y'all. Give the people in the room some love. If you're by yourself, give yourself a pat on the back. Make your way to your device. Give the people in the camera that you can see, whoever else is on the call, give them some love. Halfway in. When we make our way back in, our heads moving into this third round is gonna be skaters. My preference today is quick, back and forth, okay? That's my preference. If you wanna find that stability and hold it, a little bit slower, that's fine, but today is a Monday, Movement Monday, Meta Circuit. Let's try and find a high pace on those skaters, okay? And then tails, we're working down from this high position. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, and then back over the other way. Elevator planks on our tails, all right? When you make your way back into the screen, we've got about 15 seconds to make our way back in, and we're back into our banded drop squats for our third round. How can we intensify that movement? Maybe we go a little bit quicker, maybe a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit wider as we bring those feet out wide, all right? Here we go, moving in, banded drop squats in three, in two, and let's go. Good, Catherine's working a little bit wider with that band. Increased resistance as she dropped those feet out. And she's real quick at the top, okay? So a little bit more range, a little bit more resistance, slower movement through that squat. Great option here, you've got 15 seconds left. Whatever you do, keep tension on that band all the way through. You've got five seconds. Try and get two more. And time, beautiful, drop that band off. We flip that coin. We've got heads, skaters, all right? Skaters, tough movement coming off of that band, all right? Let's burn it out. Here we go, in three, in two, and let's go. 30 seconds of work here. Got a moderate to quick pace here in studio. Like I said before, quick is my preference, but as long as you're moving, that's all I care about. All the way from that first second to that 30th, stay in motion. Good work. You've got 10 seconds left. Let's keep that same pace we started with. Quick hit and drive it out. And that is time. Beautiful, all right. Back into that opposite corner hop, dropping into that single leg and touch, okay? 20 seconds each way. Here we go, in three, in two, and let's begin. Again, consistent landing spot. Jumping right at a 45 degree angle here. Not forward and not lateral, right across. Imagine you have those bands on the floor like we would in studio here when we take these lateral jumps into our X. Good, switching sides right into that second side. 20 seconds down, 20 to go. Let's see if we can get that same rep count on that second side. Even if it's a little bit more unconventional and non-dominant, see if we can hit that same rep count. Consistent landing spot all the way to the end. We finish in three, in two, and time. Beautiful. All right. Back into that flip. Next one in. Heads. Heads. Skaters again. Skaters again. All right. Couple extra deep breaths. We go in five, in three, and let's begin. 30 seconds on the clock on our skaters. 
Maybe if you stood a little bit taller the last time, we get a little bit lower or vice versa. Maybe we get a little bit wider on that hop this time. Maybe we go a little bit quicker or maybe we go a little bit slower, but let's change that movement up. Working a little bit differently than we did the last time. Good work, good work. Finishing out in five, in three, and time. Great job. All right. Into movement number three. Back into those oblique crunches. Knee driving out wide to elbow, to the right, to the left, and then big tuck jump in through center. In three, two, and let's begin. 40 seconds of active work here. Two lateral crunches and then up into that tuck jump. Big core activation, especially in those low abs and hip flexors here. Try and find that consistent height. Most importantly, knees driving up tight into our chest. Good work, y'all. Good work, good work. Just about 10 seconds left. Eric finding some additional height here. Good work, y'all. They're challenging each other in studio, in three, in two, and time. Well, I was running the clock, so you know. All right, here we go. Tails, Tails elevator planks. All right, working from that high plank. We're going elbow, elbow, hand, hand. In three, two, and let's begin. Good work, y'all. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. We're 10 seconds in. We're 13 seconds in. Halfway through, y'all. Great work. Good job, y'all. Almost there. You're under 10 here. Last couple. Finishing out in three, in two, and time. Great job, great job, all right. Let's finish into number four here, 20 seconds each way on that curtsy. Okay, we take that curtsy to that front kick, snap that kick off, here we go, in three, in two, and let's begin. Good, big sweep around. Opportunity to slow down and breathe a little bit, a little bit of active recovery. Big step back as we tap the toes and then snap that kick off. Great pace here in studio. We switch it in three, in two, and we switch it out. Let's go, 20 seconds down, 20 to, be, to uh, finish it out. Good job. Rounding the corner on the end of this third round in, y'all. Good work, good work. We pause in three, in two, and time, great job, all right. Into that next flip, tails. we've got tails. Elevator planks for a second round, all right. Let's make our way down. We go in three, and let's begin. 30 seconds of effort here. See if we can square those hips and shoulders to the floor. Keeping those elbows in nice and tight as we bring them up and down, almost emulating an inside press where we want those elbows oriented as far as this movement is concerned, okay? Hips and shoulders square, abs locked in. Again, active quads, just like we had before. Last three, last two, and time. Beautiful job. All right, short little break as we move into that lateral three-step deck squat. Final movement into our third round. Here we go, in three, in two, and let's begin. Good work, y'all. Consistent, steps out wide, stay low as we make our way across, and then into that deck squat. If you get halfway through this set and that deck squat's not working for you any longer, feel free to go knee, knee, foot, foot, into that prisoner squat. Good work, y'all. Just about 10 seconds left. Let's see if we can get a couple more in. All right. Last three, last two, and time. 
Good job. Shake those legs out. We're into our last flip of the round. And we've got tails finishing out in those elevator planks. Final movement into this round. Finding our way down, we begin in three, in two, and let's go. Good work. Last time here, last time you see this movement for the day. Focus on the contraction, not pace but squaring those shoulders and hips to the floor as we drop it down and raise it up. You're under 10. See if we can get top to bottom, bottom to top one more time. Finishing in three, in two, and that's time. Good work, y'all, good work, all right. Just about a minute on that rest. And we finish out. Final round in, our head's movement. It's just going to be a mountain climber, okay? So from that high plank position, shoulders out over our wrist, carrying weight into our hands as we drive those knees, okay? And then our second movement, our tails movement, will be from our back with those legs extended, reaching out toward those toes on that up crunch, all right? So making our way back in, banded drop squats to start. Final time we get this movement today. Here we go in three, in two, and let's go. 40 seconds on the work. Final time today. Keep that vision up. Tension stays on that band all the way through. Catherine has those toes turned out like a plie or a sumo position. Hitting a little bit different activation here. She's taking some type of movement at the top. Almost looks like a plank jack. I'm sorry, a, a, a squat jack. Good work, good work. Last five, last time you get that band today. In three, in two, and time. Great job. Let's flip the coin. I dropped it that time. It is a tails. Catherine Morgan calling it out. We are into that up crunch. Back down to our backs. Legs extended up toward the ceiling. We reach for those toes. We go in three, in two, and let's begin. 30 seconds of effort here. Good work. If you can get those legs extended, great. If you want to have a slight bend in those knees, either is fine, but let's really try and extend, get fingertips out to our toes here. You've got 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and then we're down to our final four movements. Finishing in three, and time. Great job. All right, into our final round of that opposite corner, single leg bound, jumping out at 45. Off of a single leg, landing on the opposite foot. We go 20 seconds each way, two hands come to the floor, and let's begin. Good work, 20 seconds over to this first side. Maybe we extend that jump out a little bit further this time. Whatever's working for you, stay in motion. Under 10 on this side. Finishing in three, in two, and time. Good, right into that second side, no break. Hop into that opposite corner here, big diagonal hop across, soft landing, dropping down two hands to the floor. Good work, good work, last five. Maybe one or two more jumps and time. Good work, all right, we take that flip. I dropped it again, I'm losing it. It's rolling. It's a roller and it's a heads, all right. All right, mountain climbers, find your way down in that plank. Let's carry some weight. Shoulders out over our wrist. Weight is in the upper body. We go in three, in two, and let's begin. 30 seconds active here. I know we're feeling it here in studio. I'm sure you are at home. So again, just find movement. Whatever pace you're carrying, it works great. As long as we're in movement that whole time. You're way past halfway. Just about 10 seconds left. Let's work all the way to the end of that set. Finishing it out. Last five. In three. And time. 
Good job, y'all. All right. Two movements down, three to go. Last time into that standing oblique crunch with our tuck jump, okay? Final round here. Working on a nice soft landing as we bring it down. Let's go in three, in two, and let's begin. 40 seconds on your clock. Good work. Drive that knee out wide. Open that hip up as we drive knee to elbow here. Lateral knee out wide. Trying to find contact every time. Past half in the round. Last time you get this one today. Last few tuck jumps in. Let's see if we can get two or three more times all the way through. Under 10 seconds. Good work. Finishing in three. And rest. Beautiful. All right. We find that flip. We've got tails back to our backs for those up crunches. Let's extend those legs high. We go in three. And let's begin. Good. Big reach up tall. Good work. We keep core engagement all the way through this movement. That's why we have those legs up. Breath out as we reach. Let's create a little space. Make sure we're still breathing all the way through. Good work, good work. Last five. Give me three more reps. And time. Beautiful job, y'all. All right, we've got two movements left in your workout today. Great work, great work. We're back up to our feet. We work off of that single leg. Curtsy lunge around. And we snap that kick off. 20 seconds each side in three. In two, and let's go. Good, bring that leg through. Extend that leg high. Use that quad to snap that kick off. And then hit that consistent point on the floor behind us with that curtsy, sweeping that leg around. Big single leg stability here. And time, good, let's switch it over. Second side, we're in, let's kick it. Extend, snap it off. Good work, y'all. Last five. And that's time. Good job. All right, shake those legs out for a second. We take our second to last coin flip. Head. And we are on heads back into those mountain climbers in our fourth round. Finding your way down to that plank. Let's go in three, in two. And begin, let's get it. Driving those knees in tight. Eric has a little bit slower pace than Catherine, but we're getting the same flexion, same tight tuck up into our chest from both sides here in studio. So just make sure we're finding that long leg as we extend and then tuck that knee in tight. That's what's most important here. Good work, you're finishing out in five, in three, and time. Beautiful job, all right, coming up, breathing it out. We finish it out. Lateral three-step deck squat, okay? Final 40-second movement today. Here we go, let's find that position. We begin in three, in two, and let's go. Stay low in those lateral steps, rolling it back forward, finding those feet, stay low and let's get lateral. Good work, hold that position. Let's finish this one strong. Just about halfway in. Good work, good work. Stay with me, let's keep that same pace. Consistent movement on the second half of this set that we carried on the first. You have 10 seconds left. See if you can get a couple more. One down, one back. Finish it up. In three, in two, and time. And for this last movement, we've got one flip left. We got and we've got heads, mountain climbers to finish us out. Take a couple extra deep breaths here. I want 30 strong seconds to finish out. Here we go, in three, in two, 
and begin. Eric's got something in his eye. So Catherine's going to finish out on her own. He'll hit his 30 seconds afterward. Now Catherine is taking that knee across to the opposite elbow. Intensifying this movement as we go through. You've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left to finish. We ran a little long today. I appreciate the effort all the way to the end. We finish in three, in two, and time. Good work, y'all. Come up to your feet. Clap it out. Give the people around you some love. Come up, look at the screen. Give some people around on the screen some love. Great job, Margaret. Yes, shout out. Great work today, y'all. Great work on a snowy Monday. Thanks for not having an excuse and sticking with us. Great, great job. Um, tomorrow, we'll be back into a power hour day, okay? No coin necessary tomorrow. Uh, we will see you tomorrow at noon. If, as always, if you have anything for us, if you need, need anything, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, email, Instagram, Zoom call right now. Whatever, whatever you need, let us know. We're here for y'all, so please feel free to reach out. Once again, we got Power Hour again tomorrow. Appreciate the work on a Monday. If you have anything for us, hit us up. Love y'all, and we will catch you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Monday. See ya.